But you must have met so many players. and Yeah, and I've met a lot of players. Um, I have to say, it was very interesting, um, some of the changing rooms, uh, meeting the teams, how different sports, different teams behave in a changing room. It's really interesting. I mean, whenever I go on an England team dressing room, there does always feel a lot more pressure. Like, you can feel it. I don't know what it is, but you do notice um, that guys find it a bit more difficult to, to relax. We talk about physical fitness. We all want to go to the gym, stay fit. We never really talk about mental fitness. And it's the kind of same thing that we all have mental health. Um, we all need to stay mentally fit. And no more so than professional athletes who, under, you know, special circumstances when you're playing for England under huge pressure, you've got to have your head, you know, razor sharp as well as your feet, your legs, you know, all that. It's an interesting area with this podcast because I think we could all say that we've all received messages from people and we do quite regularly that this podcast, which we'd like to think is a bit of a laugh and, you know, we get up to some really stupid stuff and some amazing stuff. And today is ridiculous, but also weird and bit stupid in some ways as well <laughs> like how the stupid, hell we yeah. ended up here but I, I what I love about it so much is it, if this podcast has been a bit of a light relief to you listening at the moment um we just wanted to take a little bit of time to kind of discuss that and talk about that which is the whole point of all of this when we did the uh the chat in the change room that was I, I went into that thinking I'm going to listen to people's stories and hopefully play a part in some way but I, I went into it and we for some reason I felt like opening up and I, I haven't opened up like ever not even to my family so just in that environment where we were talking about our feelings and, and things I, I got into a, 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 a place where I felt like I could share things and I felt I really genuinely did I'm just saying it I genuinely felt so much better after I was like oh my god I got that off my chest a little bit I, I, I masked that to everyone um, because I'm in the environment where it's so such a male orientated then and, and any weakness shown is is an excuse not to make it so when I started talking about it and I opened up I, I did feel so much better and that was just through through talking everyone has issues I think is it fair to say right at the top of the pile to professional footballers and people look at professional footballers and go, there are millions, like, what have you got to moan about? What have you got to be upset about? And I'm sure you can talk about maybe or, or, or know colleagues or, or players and friends that have suffered. And I think it does go from the top to the bottom of football. And that's why we're talking, right? Yeah, absolutely. No, and it's really important. And it's, it's, it's always bothered me a little bit about um, how just factoring in looking after your mental health into everything just everyday life let alone professional sport I mean it makes sense in professional sport I mean like if you're trying to make an elite athlete be as good as they can be and you're fixing the legs the body the arms why would you not look at the head when actually everything's driven from the head and so it comes to the same of our, of our lives if you're going to go to work every day you're going to look after your family you know you need the brain to be you know firing and we all have bad days I mean everyone has bad days you know no matter what you know, glamorous lifestyle you think you lead and you know we've got plenty of social media things telling us that this is a glamorous here and glamorous there it's, it's not all it's cracked up to be and the real things really matter like the friendships the the time you take to talk to look after someone else to talk to someone else about your problems that's what really makes you know the world tick and and for everyone to get through their weeks when when things are really you know really down 